Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we met Undyne, and she is fierce, throwing like a hundred spears at once. That was incredible. And we also went on a little, you know, dinner date with Sans for a minute. We're, well, not dinner, I guess it was lunch. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. Ah, no, my, not my throat. Just give me a second. So I'm really foolish, and I accidentally, uh didn't get water so my throat is slightly you know starting to kill me apparently this voice for sans is the worst thing i could ever do but i'm doing it anyway it's normally 50,000 g to use this premium telescope but since i know you you can use it for free how's about it uh sure why why is it red huh you aren't satisfied don't worry i'll give you a full refund Oh. Oh, you devious. It's an odd looking telescope. Oh, you. <laughs> Seriously, he, he put something on it so it. Mm, you devious, devious boy. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Uh, you can touch me. You can, uh, I mean, you can't kill me. And I'd rather you not try to eat me. Ooh. I re re <laughs> relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Super, here you go, your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. The box contains one card. Uh, got a punch card. Ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I don't think that's illegal. I'm gonna leave you, but I don't think that's illegal. I don't think you're actually supposed to do that. Um, I prefer this music. Let's see what's over here. I can't go over here. Awesome. There's a weird duck, though. He looks adorable. For now, we're heading this direction. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You can hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Bing. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you was very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus will never betray you. I'm not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So, because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a bandana, even though you told me you were. Oh my... Papyrus... Oh my god, Papyrus... Uh... Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a dusty tutu. I painted me to tell her such a bold-faced lie. I know you would never ever wear a dusty tutu, but your safety is more important than fashion. Dang, I just want to be friends with everyone. Okay, that explains a lot. So if you tell Papyrus the truth and, you're, and you keep on whatever you're wearing, then he ends up telling the truth. Apparently, he'll lie if you change your clothes. I thought I was so clever. It's a pair of ballet, ballet shoes. Oh, I'm going to be fabulous. Wait, ballet shoes, are they a weapon? Ballet shoes, a weapon with seven attack. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Um. Never mind, I'm not gonna look fabulous. I'm sorry, but I think all of you know, stick is best weapon. I'm sure none of you get that reference, because it's a reference to me, and it's not something that I think was ever 
I know it was posted, but it's really obscure, and it wasn't on my channel. So, I mean, the person who posted it's more popular than I am, but I doubt any of you are watching it. Or watch, watching me. Never. I, I give up. I'm flexing. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, let's go. Ah, mm. Aaron's ready for your next flex. Ready for your next flex. Alright, and I'm done. Now we're moving on. No new monsters thus far, just Mold Smalls and more Aaron. You're a passing conversation. Don't say that, come on, I promise I won't laugh. Um. Alright, I guess we're heading up this way. The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. That is dangerous. Uh... What are you? Why do you look so kawaii? Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? Why are you so derpy? You're the most derp kawaii I've ever seen. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Oh. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I, uh... That's okay, though, <laughs> you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Oh... Hey, there, uh, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. Okay, I guess uh, Onion Son is not coming back. And that was the most derp kawaii I've ever seen. Oh. Shiren hides around the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh, hum. You hum a funky tune. Sharon follows your melody. That sound reminds me a lot of uh, Earthbound. I love it. Siren seems much more comfortable singing along. Alright. And we spare. That was an easy battle. 30 gold. The northern room hides a great treasure. <gasps> treasure! Um, okay. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Um, there's a piano here. Play it. Okay. I don't think I can do this yet, maybe? Maybe not? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Hmm. Wait, rain? It's a statue. The structure at its feet seems dry. What? Uh, wait, wait. Please take one. Took an umbrella. 
I mean, it makes sense to do this, right? Put the umbrella on the statue? Oh. This is very Kingdom Hearts. You place the umbrella top the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh, so that's how I learn it. Circle up right, circle down, down right. I like how it gets louder if I'm closer to the center. That's a really nice touch. There's the piano here. Play it? Sure. Crap. Uh... Maybe that's not right. Did I already forget it? I already forgot it. Crap. I'm foolish and stupid and silly. I'm so sorry, guys. Be right back. Circle up right, circle down, down right. Okay, I'm stupid. Circle up right, circle right. There's a piano here. I would not play it at the moment. Actually, Sorry, I'm, I like playing pianos. I'm not good at them, though. So there's a red orb here. No traps. No traps. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? I'll leave it. No, I'll take it. Because I want to see if anything happened. You're carrying too many... What? What does that mean? Monster. Annoying dog, dog, a little white dog. It's fast asleep. It's so cute and not in my inventory. Oh, it's so cute. Set it down. You put the dog on the ground. Dog. The dog absorbs the art. Are you kidding me? The artifact is gone. I. Uh, uh... What? What? How? The music continues, it doesn't stop. It's good music, so I don't mind. Uh, what happens if you walk through without an umbrella? I see that guy there. I'd like to take the umbrella if he's coming along. There we go. Now I'm a smart kid. Bisquick is such smart. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Okay, I don't think you're getting any protection from the rain. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. 
Yeah. Y yeah. Uh. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. This got me to thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could, she could beat up all the teachers. I mean, I'm sure she could. She's the captain of the royal guard. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I mean, that's comforting. We haven't hurt anyone, so. Oh. I thought this was a cutscene or something. This is a cool aesthetic. Okay. That was random. I like the aesthetic, though. We're getting close to the castle from the looks of it. Return the umbrella? Sure. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you ever... You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh, come on, man. Stop falling. You're making me feel bad for, you know, not helping you up since I could have grabbed your head or something. Well, you don't have arms. That's the... Yeah. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. Alright, I think that's good for now. Guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're coming to a bit of a close here, I think. This has been really serene, but we haven't seen Undyne for a while, and, you know, we just spent the past minute talking about Undyne, so you can probably tell what's going to be happening. <sighs> No matter what happens, I'm sticking by it. I'm not killing anyone. Undyne can't kill me, and I refuse to kill her. So until next time, see you then. In the end, it could hardly be called war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. That's less than good. Guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. In the last episode, we made it further through the waterfall. Oh, excuse me, burped. Mm. We met Onion-san, a weird derpy kawaii, and uh, met... Uh, I don't know, we didn't really meet anyone else, we just... Oh yeah, we met Doge, and he stole my artifact. Every time this cool aesthetic happens, it doesn't turn out well. So we're about to meet... Yeah. Yeah, I saw this coming. Hey, Undyne. I mean, this is really cool and all. I'd love to have this kind of power. But this is not exactly fair. No, not, oh, crap. This is a maze. Um, crap. Yep, dodged all your shots. These, did I just lag? Did, did Undertale just lag? Oh, Ragnity! Okay, um... Okay, we're gonna try the bottom right and hope I just missed something down here. Yeah, I missed this entire area. Ah! Fraggle, fraggle. Why are sometimes it's like 1, and other times it's like 12? What determines... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. 
Uh, is it getting faster? She must be getting tired. Or at least that's what I thought. Uh, hi, Undyne. Bye, Undyne. <laughs> 